Many thanks to Joe Jaren, Daisy Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, Black Knight, and Lion Loss for making this video possible. The CL 550 Savannah sniper rifle has just been added to Daisy, and as predicted, is a beast of a weapon that outshines the best of the best in Daisy in terms of long distance warfare. The CR 550 Savannah, otherwise known as the CZ 550, is best described as a hybrid weapon that has some of the best stats of the M70 Tundra, mixed with some of the best stats of the CR 527, making it a fantastic weapon. But like all weapons in Daisy, it does come with some drawbacks. Before we get to the nitty gritty, let's start with the basics. The CR550 Savannah fires 308 regular and tracer variant rounds used by the Tundra Blaze and LAR, which are questionably the best rounds in the game, and as such, makes the weapons that use this round very powerful. So the 550 is already off to a very good start, capable of one-shotting most any unarmored target at many ranges, and has the exact same damage drop-off as the Tundra, so it has the same bullet speed too, which is the highest health damage of any weapon in the game, so the Tundra and the 550 have the same damage. Similar again to the Tundra, the 550 allows the attachment of the God Tier Hunting Optic and the Improvised Suppressor along with the Gilly Weapon Wrap. The Improvised Suppressor becomes ruined with the same amount of shots and like the Tundra, the Bottle Suppressor blocks Iron Sight visibility. Where the Tundra takes a big L compared to the CR550 is how the Savannah allows the attachment of not only a 4 round mag, but a black girthy 10 round mag too, making it much more comparable to the CR527. However, the CR527 immediately gets dismissed from comparing itself to the Savannah due to the 527's lack of damage initially and over range. Even with the shock damage multiplier the 527 ammo types get, it still doesn't catch up with the shock damage either on the Savannah. And and that's not even comparing the other stats that are better on the Savannah too. Back to comparing it to the Tundra then, the CR550 has a better ammo capacity at 11 compared to 5 and has a much faster reload speed, reloading around 30% faster, of which here is the reload animation for the 550. And the chambering animation. Note that both the Tundra and the 550 with its black girth cock at the same speed, have the same length, have the same size in your inventory, both become subsonic and won't make a weapon crack at around 950 meters, and both can be heard up to around 3400 meters away without a suppressor. Where the Tundra outperforms the 550 is the very slight effective range boost, even though they both zero to 200 meters as standard, the recoil control, of which the recoil is twice as much on the 550 compared to the Tundra, and finally, and probably the most important one here, the Tundra has better accuracy than the 550. The accuracy difference is very slight, but you do notice it on the iron sights, hence why the effective range is 40 meters more on the Tundra. However, when you slap the hunting optic on either of these weapons, they both become 100% accurate, which means that the damage and the range of the Tundra and CR550 Savannah are exactly the same, but the 550 has a juicy 10 round mag that puts the Tundra in a clear second place, cementing the king of bolt action sniper rifles in Daisy to be the newly added CR550 Savannah. Like I did say at the start of this video though, the 550 does have a major drawback in that it requires you to find the weapon and the magazine, whereas the Tundra you just need the ammo and the weapon, and because you need the mag for it to be better than the Tundra, it's only rarity that separates these two weapons. My personal take on the CR550 is that it certainly outperforms the Tundra in terms of stamina with its black girth, but having double the amount of recoil makes it difficult to gauge the bullet splashes with this weapon, especially when you're using the hunting optic, which might make the Tundra better in some situations. But now that you know all of this information, will you be replacing the Tundra with the new CR550 Savannah? Or are you going to stay loyal to your Tundra? Let me know in the comments. And because I know a lot of people will ask, it will certainly spawn in a location similar to the CR527 and the Tundra. But we won't know for sure until 1.17 comes to stable. Thank you very much for watching. More videos to come on 1.17. And have a good day.